Hey, what's up guys? Dave from Ravex here. Mountain Camp, February 3rd. It's time to talk about layering at negative 20 degrees because that's where we're at right now. So it's going to be cold out there. So, we're going to start with our base layers guys. This is the Fly Heavyweight base layer. There's two types. On a 30 degree day you may wear a... Hang on a second. Ravex? Bye. <laughs> That was Johnny. We're going to investigate a new riding spot because he can't go to the same spot we always go to. That's awesome. He's got to go find his own thing. So, <laughs> Fly heavyweight base layers, top and bottom. Key. You want that directly on your skin. No underwear. No underwear. No underwear. This is what's taking the moisture from your body as you sweat at camp or when you're riding backcountry, you're sweating. You use your base layer to take that sweat away from your skin and transfer it to the next layer. So your next layer is going to be a little heavier. I prefer the HMK Destination mid layer here. And uh, it's a micro fleece so it's still really lightweight, super comfortable. A lot of people just wear this as a casual piece. Yeah. And uh, I've got the matching pants as well so that's my mid layer. And then, of course, we have the HMK Ketchup and Mustard onesie. This is my personal favorite. Um, so it's a one-piece, removable hood, completely waterproof, windproof, breathable. Uh, this is awesome. So uh, this is your outer layer. So you have a three-layer system. On your head, you're going to go with the Fly Head Sock windstopper all around the eyes so that if you have any gaps in where your goggles go in your helmet the windstopper is going to protect your skin so you don't get frostbite so fly windstopper head sock they make this in a couple different styles and sizes socks um, you want something moisture wicking super thin no cotton socks don't wear your casual socks um, and you want them pretty thin so that your feet don't sweat too much before you actually start riding so nice long moisture wicking Thin sock, um, that's key. No cotton, again, no cotton fear pants, no sweatpants, no hoodies. You want to wear all moisture wicking stuff, all fleece, microfiber, um, and like smart wool's fine. So, socks are key. Hmm. You trying to figure out the name of that? No. Um, or what it's called? It's called a helmet, but. This is a helmet? That's a helmet. No kidding. I've been wearing this on my ass. <laughs> yeah, that's a helmet. So what we have here is the Fly F2 Carbon. We've Hold seen... Oh, your brain's are. Should I... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's my father in law there. I've got the legend behind me making breakfast. Isn't he impressive? So Fly F2 Carbon helmet. Uh, this is a carbon fiber Kevlar construction. They're actually... Um, updating this for this year brand new not even on the streets yet but um, so this is the current model as of now are those but bulletproof this is not bulletproof but it does have a little kevlar in it so okay. if it happens to maybe hit the spot with some kevlar maybe it will help cool um so i wear a motocross style helmet with goggles that's where that head sock is key and also a breath guard if you don't wear a breath guard when it's negative 20 degrees out your face is going to freeze off <laughs> Or if you have breath like mine, huh? you want to get it away from your nose. So guys, F2 Carbon, um, we sell a ton of different helmets, so it doesn't matter. I just like this one because it's light and it's Snell safety rated. But uh, So Moto, goggles with a nose piece, good head sock. You're going to want to wear uh, snowmobile specific goggles, not your dirt bike goggles. They're <coughs> vented in the top. It uh, creates airflow so that you fog up a lot less. Um, comfortable, nice thick foam, dual layer foam with a fleece backer. And uh, small nose piece so it doesn't interfere with your helmet, but uh, protects your nose more. Triple Nine is this brand, but we sell lots of different brands. Fly, 509, HMK, whatever. So, Dragon, Scott. So, I got my outerwear. What else am I missing? Oh, gloves. 
Never go riding without two pairs of gloves. Maybe you should wear these extra gloves. My hands are starting to get sweaty. I don't care what it is, what kind of riding you're doing. I'll start out in the morning with these babies and I'll have my hand warmers on high by midday after a little backcountry. These are soaked. So if I take my camera out to film, I put these down, next thing you know they're blocks of ice. So um, it sucks, my hands get super cold. So I've invested in some fly heated gloves. Three settings, hard knuckles, waterproof, windproof, breathable, comfortable, um, insulated, killer gloves. The heat is only on the back of the hand so that you can use your hand warmers and that uh, won't affect your performance. They're not super bulky, so you can get good throttle feel. These saved me last weekend when my hands, I couldn't even barely feel them. I threw these on. Within 10 minutes, I was so happy. Um, and getting the camera out, my hands are always cold. So These are a must-have for any hardcore snowmobiler. Um, so that's how I'm going to dress today at negative 15, negative 20, and I will be mint all day long. So. Um, hope that helped you guys layer up for your cold weather days and uh, have fun riding. Yeah.